Do it live! Hi folks and welcome back to Open Analysis Live. I know it's been a while, but we're still here, don't worry. We're just really busy with another project, so there probably won't be any videos coming for a little while, but I did wanna give you guys a quick tips video. Uh, somebody asked about it and I thought this was a really good example of a short video I could put out for you guys. This is basically how to unpack process injection with one breakpoint on write process memory. With this process injection you'll see here, they're actually using uh, create tooltip to get a list of running processes. Then they enumerate through the processes until they find the explorer process. And then they call open process on the explorer. And once they have a handle to it, they then write into the memory of the process. So now that we know how that works, we're gonna open up X6040 bug here, and we're gonna put a breakpoint on write process memory. We're gonna run until we hit that breakpoint. And then once we hit the breakpoint, we're gonna see what's in the memory section that's being written to the process. So we set our breakpoint, uh, we're gonna click run. We hit the breakpoint on the entry point, which is always hit. We're gonna click run again. Next time we uh, run for a little bit here, then we stop on our breakpoint on write process memory. Let's take a look at the uh, write process memory arguments. We know the third argument is the buffer. Go to our stack, three down on the stack is going to be the buffer. We right click, follow and dump, which you can't see on the screen here and we see a bunch of the garbage here. It looks kind of like code, so let's scroll down to see if there's anything interesting. Bam, PE header right there. We know that they're injecting a PE. Let's follow it in memory, dump that memory out, and what we're gonna do once we dump it out is just carve that junk code off the front of it, and we should have a working PE file. Now I'm gonna switch VMs here uh, to do that. Switch over to my IDA VM, open up HXD. I uh, find the MZ in the dumped file here. Uh, there's the MZ. I delete all the junk code before it, and once I've deleted it, I have a nice PE file, which I'm gonna then open in IDA, just to make sure that it's a valid PE and it looks like an unpacked sample. Open up in IDA, IDA doesn't complain, everything loads up nice. First thing to do, check the imports, make sure they're all there, yep, they're all there. Now let's check strings, see if this looks like malware. Oh yeah, this is the good stuff here. We got ourselves some CNC uh, URLs, stuff like that. This definitely looks like unpack sample. So that's it, quick tip, three minute unpacking tutorial. So uh, there'll probably be a while until we post another video, but don't worry, we definitely will post more uh, once this project is off our plate. So bear with us and let us know if you wanna see some more quick tips like this. Uh, these are easy to make and so we might be able to make a few of these uh, in the meantime. Thanks a lot. Until next time, keep exposing the mechanics behind the malware. Stay curious.